What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others, someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadow Hearts. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades. Mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me. As I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <coughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last.
How about this? been lied to my whole life and I was gullible enough to just believe it my parents are alive and I have to save them I think a part of me always knew that a part that Shah denied to me thank you but I want you to refrain from foolish heroics when the time comes, we'll be entering a nest of vipers. I couldn't bear to lose you. Not after everything. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. and seek. Will you play with me? Of course I am. Now you're going to play with me or not? All right. I'll hide and you seek. Find me and you win. Get ready. And no cheating. supposed to find me you weren't supposed to win you're not my mummy don't tell me what to do let's play another game I deserve a chance to even the score try to find me again but my family will be looking for you at the same time so don't get caught
mercy. Let's move. Can't slow down. Very well. I win! I always win in the end. You did better than most, though, so I'll let you go. Here. Second prize. You'll need it. I've got a long road ahead. to the nothing. Looks like the Dryder's caravan came from here. They won't be hurting any more prisoners from here, thanks to us. ahead. moment.
cold grip. Waste a step. Anything of use? What now? to the nothing.
when I pin the ground itself. and dagger my favorite let's not get caught off guard
Let's go. Nothing important is ever easy. Imperial. Interesting. <laughs> Never wanted the easy path. Must keep going. your back. Be honest, what do you think of the new look? Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now.
something over there. Really? Are you in need of a paperweight?
It's odd. The flame won't go out. A spell, clearly. I can't say I'm familiar with it. in here. moment. At the ready. See that symbol on the ground? This was a mason's guilt. Corpses on display. Perhaps someone didn't appreciate. Tread carefully. You are still necessary. And gods, what's that smell? Oh, but that should more than suffice. Zara. Let's be on my way. 
way. That might be worth a look. A pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. Give it a shot. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. Is that Arabella's father she's tending? Our little idol thief has some terrible luck. Not dead, merely medicated to ease the pain. Yes, yes, I knew these hands would not fail me. The patient is sure to recover. Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Now, if you'll excuse me.
Whatever comes, I'm ready. Eager for battle. No one stopped me yet. Remain silent. It doesn't the spell's power. The corpse does not respond. Can't slow down. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Behold, sisters, the very face of ignorance. One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on, acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object of our studies. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. He's just like Casador. Utterly insane. See? What is the light of eyes? So that causes one to witness the laceration of being. If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look. How the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. Remember a shire and maxim. Go forth and sow doubt, but do not compel it, for only the willing may know the lady's embrace. Hmm. Only the willing may know the lady's embrace. You know her teaching well. And yet these sisters must exercise their gifts. For the art of absence lies in its execution. How to proceed? I wonder. I see. 
see now. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. Sisters, soothe me. I suppose you want to hear about Casador, my old master, before the might. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. Not political power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became... Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Casador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. They're not even the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Thank you. 
can't afford any mistakes. I wonder. Can't give up now. Trust no one. With haste. Amigos. Seems like a good moment to talk. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Hey, I hope you like it. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it.
I don't get it. Thou wilt. Hey, where's Mum and Pops? No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. It isn't true. It isn't. Get away from me. Go. Leave me alone. Let's see. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Yes, fun. someone inside out.
better than nothing. That might be worth a look. Swift as my feet can carry me. To Baldur's Gate. If we're to be free of this parasite, we must slay the Looking ahead. Don't waste a step. Good idea, I think. Strange. The dust on the left. In many of here. Someone there. What am I ah. doing? Ah. 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 Should more than suffice. Shouldn't have wished. That might be worth a look. on the shelves. Probably cold and congealed. Oof. More pockets. Trap. Be cautious. Keep your distance, darling. I wonder. Hardly a challenge. Dread likely. No 
one back home will ever believe this. Well, hello. I've got a long road ahead. Best be on my way. Light on my feet. I wonder what the next move is. This way. <sighs> right, gotta get to it. Hmm. Is that blood? No, never mind. Indolence breeds madness. As I was taught. Hmm. Proceeding. What now? Yes, please. Something different. We have to move on. How much farther can I go? The Absolute armies are on the march, and Baldur's Gate is their target. Rick is defeated, the path ahead clear. You should be elated. But the sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Though however deep your pain, it cannot compare to Halson's.
Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Best to rest now, while we still can. Who knows what's waiting in Baldur's Gate? Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. 